police and has more. After a brief investigation at the Washington County Courthouse, officials found just foot powder in the suspicious letter. And believe it or not, the police department of Barrie is choosing not to press charges against the sender, convicted murder Dana Martin. The Washington County Courthouse is much calmer one day after an anthrax scare in the clerk's office. The, the court clerk was opening mail. Um, she opened an envelope. It was marked inmate correspondence from Delaware. Um, there was a white powder in it. She stopped what she was doing immediately, closed the room off, washed her hands. I mean, she, she acted perfectly. The letter with what turned out to be foot powder inside was sent from a Delaware prison. Police say it was the work of convicted murderer Dana Martin, who in 2001 admitted killing 15-year-old Deandra Florucci in Barrie. It was quite uh, any homicide, particularly one of a young uh, high school age woman, uh, Deandra was still in high school at the time, uh, was very upsetting to the community. Now this isn't the only time Martin put himself back in the headlines since his conviction. Back in 2012, Martin allegedly became infatuated with Justin Bieber, writing him numerous letters from prison. But because Bieber never wrote him back, investigators say he recruited two men to kidnap and kill the pop star and his bodyguard. A plan that one of the men police say Martin hired to do the deed said would be close to impossible to achieve. Quite frankly, I would have had a better chance of going and kidnapping Osama bin Laden and killing him than getting anywhere remotely close to Justin Bieber. I think this is just the latest in uh, an attempt to get returned to Vermont. I mean, yesterday we had corrections officials um, interview him, and he very forthcoming, yep, I sent it to the court, yep, it's foot powder. Chief Timothy Bombardier says Martin's hoax will not get him any closer to his home state. We've been talking with the prosecutors, and I know it's still a conversation. It's unlikely that there'll be any charges uh, based on his underlying sentence and the motivations behind this. Martin is currently in a Delaware prison and will remain behind bars to serve his life sentence. Live in the newsroom, Jennifer Sheehan, NBC5 News.